Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning to all our listeners and fear from home. And welcome you to today, Sunday, November 19, 2023, Devotion. 24th Sunday after Trinity. Our lives shall be blessed and refreshed as we listen to the Word of God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for giving us the privilege to see this day. Thank you for the opportunity we have to listen to your word. Thank you for keeping and preserving us over the night. We worship you, Lord. Be glorified, Lord, in Jesus' name. As we listen to your word this morning, let it bring light unto our life. And you, God Almighty, you turn our life around for better after listening to this glorious word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. The theme for our meditation this morning is the prayer of agreement. Prayer of agreement. And our text shall be taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 18, beginning from the 18th verse. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What we are examining this morning in our devotion is a powerful area that all Christians at different homes and churches need to harness to enter and gain benefit of our faith. Prayer of agreement, there are two words there. Number one is prayer and the second one is agreement. These are two powerful uh, tools in Christian faith. That, uh, and the Bible says, uh, when two or three are gathered in their midst, I will be. And agreement simply means that uh, it involves the agreement between one than one person. It's between uh, two and more. And whenever you have an agreement, all two person comes together, it is always uh, stronger than one. And the Bible even established that. He said, the two are better than one because they have reward for their labor. So, when you talk about agreement, the word agree, the word agree comes from Greek word, sophonio, uh, which means to be harmonious, to agree together, to agree with. Agreement means uh, when two or more in harmony on a matter or opinion. When you two, maybe husband and wife, or any two prayer partner, friends, when they agree together on a certain thing, definitely uh, you have entered what we call uh, an agreement. Prayer of agreement is powerful. Because it involves the unity of mind. The mind we are talking about is more than one. Two have come together. Again, it's a combined faith. Combined faith. You bring your own faith, I bring mine. And the two will come together. Form a kind of synergetic action. Again, it's strengthening action of more than one person. No wonder the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 30, uh, says, 
one man could chase a thousand or two put ten thousand to flight whenever you talk about agreement or you talk about two people comes together agree on a certain thing it is always of a multiplier effect in our prayer and whatever thing that we are asking for it was the corporate all agreement prayer in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 14 that brought the corporate power we enjoy in Acts chapter 2 verse 1 following which says that when the disciple was in uh, in the day of Pentecost the disciple were together in the upper room and they were praying and when they were praying the spirit of the Lord descended upon them when you come together in a prayer of agreement definitely uh, you will get whatever you are asking for a man of God Steve Mix says corporate prayers bring corporate power that is when you come together either two or more in an agreement prayer or what we refer to as corporate prayer you get what we call corporate power what, what does that one mean then you get power more than what a single person can acquire from the lord martin luther also martin luther said for truly the church on earth has no greater power or work than short united prayer against everything that may strike her the power the church have is uh, the prayer of agreement in a unity of mind in a unity of mind in verse 19 of today's text the bible says again truly i tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask they ask for it will be done for them by my father in heaven Jesus made it clear that nothing is impossible with the prayer of agreement. That whatever we are asking for, according uh, as far as it's aligned with the will of God, God is there to answer our prayer in the place of uh, prayer of agreement. Also in verse 18, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The word of God affirmed the authority and the benefit we have in Christ. But it's a pity we have not fully enjoyed this. Today's Christendom needs to check and recheck. Oftentimes we pray in the church. We pray as a prayer warrior. We pray as a corporate prayer. We pray as a prayer of agreement. Sometimes uh, we see less results. We need to check. And say the apostles enjoyed this grace in their own time and this benefit of faith. Their prayer of agreement rented heaven, as discussed the other time in the day of Pentecost. Their prayer of agreement healed a layman when Peter and John were at the gate, at the beautiful gate, they declare with the unity of mind. And a layman, he has been there for years, was delivered. Again, the prayer of agreement of apostle when Peter was put in the prison, delivered Peter and set uh, the prison loose. He broke the yoke, he broke the doors and the iron doors and opened the gates for Peter. This is, this is kind of what the Bible is affirming, that when we come together at any situation, even in our critical situation, the Lord is there to answer our prayer. Uh, may I give a testimony? I enjoyed this in the month of March 2023 when one of my son was looking for admission. The first thing I did was to speak to the vice chancellor of that federal university in this nation and kept on waiting, expecting that he will honor my request. After three or four weeks of resumption, I learned to know that my son has not been taken. Then I called him. The first he started, he picked the call, but when he got to it some time, he did not pick a call again. The Holy Spirit just told me, why am I wasting my time? 
use what you have. And I ask the Holy Spirit, what did I have that I need to use? So call your wife together and pray together in the unity of mind. And we did. Lo and behold, after the prayer overnight, the following morning, I refused to call the vice chancellor. I called the registrar. And I explained the whole scenario to him. The question he asked me is that, what do you need? What do you want me to do for you? It's at that point that I believe that when we agree together and has a request, what we think is impossible will definitely be done by God. It is true, this has been happening in the time of apostle, that has been happening in the earliest time of faith, but these days we see that we, we saw or we are seeing less of it. Uh, some of these reasons, the following may be part of the reason why uh, we are not enjoying it as much. One, sometimes our requests are not aligned with the will of God. Uh, we, we discover that the Bible says that uh, in the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, that if we have anything according to his will, he hears when we fail to align our request with the will of God, we may not get what we need. Number two, are we truly united? Oftentimes we come together with unclean spirit, with unforgiving spirit. The Bible says, do not forget the book of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, that when husband and wife offended each other, they come before the Lord, and they did not forgive each other that their prayer will be ended. So unforgiveness may also enter the prayer of agreement. Another reason is that do we have the same goal? We could see family that comes together, husband and wife stay in the same room, sleeping on the same bed, at the same time church was together in the same sanctuary, but with different goals and different opinion. Uh, uh, the last thing is that what is what about the issue of faith and confidence in our prayer? Oftentimes we are praying we did not have confidence in the prayer we are praying for. Brethren, I'm challenging all this money that we should key into this privilege as a child of God. When believer comes together in one accord to pray, the heaven opens. The devil is put to flight. Problem is shaken from their roots. And there will be total restoration, deliverance, breakthrough, and healing. As a couple, we can harness this grace to address the challenges in our home, business, and even in the life of our children. While the church can use this authority to turn things around for a nation and the world at large. May the Lord listen and answer as we agree together in the presence of God today. In Jesus' mighty name, let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this word of God. As we come before you by faith, may you give us grace to agree together in the unity of mind and put our focus in a single way. And as we ask from you, you will grant all our requests in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Thank you for listening and God bless. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.